Hello and welcome Galaxy Advisors. The purpose of this video is to explain how to install MySQL Workbench on a Mac. What is MySQL Workbench? Well, in essence, it's a graphical user interface that enables you to look at a MySQL database and data sets to actually to see the data. Now, for the links that are in this video, if you click under Show More under the um, YouTube video, you'll get all the links so you don't have to copy them. MySQL Workbench download. So the first thing to install it is to download MySQL Workbench at this URL. Again, this URL is located under Show More underneath the video. So once you're going to that page, select your operating system platform. In this case, um, select the Mac OS X. So you'll see the window here is shown here. Select platform, uh, click on the drop down box, select the Mac OS X, and then click the download button. Uh, begin the download by log in, sign up, or no thanks. You have three options. Uh, you can, uh, you don't have to log in. You don't have to sign up. You can actually just click no thanks and just start my download. Uh, locate your MySQL Workbench DMG file in the downloads folder after it's downloaded. Double click on the file to install. The file name will look something like this. And when the installation window opens, drag the dolphin icon over into the applications folder as it's indicated here in this picture. A copy message will appear that it's copying and when completed the MySQL Workbench app is in your applications folder and it'll look something like this. On step 10 start your MySQL server if it's not running already and then double click on the MySQL Workbench app to start it. Then you'll get a message and asking do you sure you want to open it and the answer is yes click open. On step 13, the MySQL Workbench main screen appears as uh, indicated here. Then click on the local instance, which displays the local port number, and that will bring up uh, some additional information for you to actually view the databases and data sets. Step 15, the MySQL Workbench local instance window is open, so it'll look like this. Then click on the schemas, expand double arrow icon to expand. So on the left hand side, um, about three quarters or halfway down you'll see schema so you have the little kind of double arrow if you click on that double arrow to expand then click on the desired database or schema so here's a close-up shop uh, shot of a, da a database here in this case the condor Enron and select a, a database you can expand the tables by clicking the drop down arrow and then you can review the tables and columns now once in this view, if you right click on a table and choose select rows limit 1000, then the table data appears in the window so you actually can see what's inside the table. So again on the left hand side, right click on a table name, select, select rows limit 1000 and then it will display the actual data. For a 14-minute MySQL Workbench tutorial, see this uh, YouTube link. Again, uh, it's located on the Show More uh, underneath the video. And this will take you through um, a brief a video about the MySQL Workbench. Uh, there's also a 372 uh, manual uh, for the MySQL Workbench, and it's available at this link. And that will um, give you um, uh, additional detail about the workbench and its capabilities. So from Galaxy Advisors, we hope you enjoy uh, Condor 3 and the MySQL Workbench to uh, look at your databases and data sets.